हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद सिराजुल अफैसी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री लंगर सिंह कॉलेज मुजफ्फरपुर टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशंस प्रीवियसली इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांजिशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड this topic so let us start from here so in last lectures i discuss about the these two transitions pi to pi star and n to pi star transition i tell you pi to pi star transitions in higher energy lower wavelength this is the wavelength and this is the absorption so i am talking about this axis so pi to pi star transitions high energy lower wavelength n to pi star transition lower energy higher wavelength now the absorptions you see here and here according to y axis you will see there is a difference in height also so you know that pi pi star transition is allowed transition and to pi star transition is forbidden transition now you see the electronic transitions of the carbonyl compound why this carbonyl is important because here pi pi star and n to pi star both transition is possible so if you have the pi and this is the pi this is energy difference so pi pi star transitions is allowed transitions you see the epsilon value much much higher but n to pi star transitions non bonding orbitals to anti bonding is forbidden transitions you see the epsilon value very less so again this is a matter of discussions why n to pi star transition is forbidden a small molecular absorptivity uh, forbidden transition occurs less frequently now you see this is the homo and this is the lumo in case of butene and this is the homo and lumo in case of ethene so look at this energy level diagram so there is a problem outside i will stop here hope this video will be helpful to you thanks for watching